Okay, so I've had this uh, Bible digitally for a little while now, and I keep running across neat things that are in it. Um, there's a little reluctance here because Bullinger had some unusual views. He's been described as a hyper dispensationalist, and you will encounter some of those idiosyncrasies in this Bible. But I thought it would be neat to have a physical copy of it. I haven't spent an enormous amount of time with the Companion Bible, but here and there I've, I've looked at it, and occasionally I've found some very cool insights from Bullinger. Now, despite his unusual takes on some things, he was a serious Bible scholar, and I can tell you that there's sometimes he makes some connections that are well worth looking into. All right, so we're looking at it now, taking off the cellophane. Try not to damage the Bible in the process of cutting off the cellophane. Try not to cut my fingers in the process too. <laughs> it's very thick. My impression is that it's a very big Bible. I'm interested in the margin space and the size of the print on this as well. It smells good. It's done by Kriegel Publishing. Looks like uh, one ribbon marker. It's very nice though. And here it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's very generous margin space down here. I like that. Not so much here and up here. Very small print. Lots of information though. Yeah, this is going to be interesting once I get into it. Um, I found his notes to be very interesting. Yeah, there was a good initial look at it. There's some maps. Oh, there's an appendix. There's, a, there's lots of room for notes in the back here. And appendixes. Don't see any maps, which I hardly ever use anyways. Um, oh, yeah, there are some maps. Interesting, very interesting. It'll be fun to get into this more. Feels really good. Real good feel to it. Um, yeah, there it is.